Why don't we just tell them all to stop and they can just take a picture or something? Jeremy, are you okay? They're wondering if I killed her. Don't tell me you're seeing inside them again. people like on the inside inside most people there's a feeling of being separate separated from everything and and they're not they're part of absolutely everyone and everything everything I'm part of this tree Part of Zach barking over fences? You're telling me that I'm part of some fisherman in Italy on some ocean I've never even heard of? No, some guy sitting on death row. I'm part of him, too? You don't believe me. It's hard to believe that. All of that. Well, that's because you have this spot that you can't see past. My grams and gramps had it. The spot where they were taught they were disconnected from everything. So that's what they'd see if they could. That they're connected. And how beautiful they really are. And that there's no need to hide or lie. And then it's possible to talk to someone without any lies. With no sarcasms. No deceptions, no exaggerations. Or any of the things that people use to confuse the truth. I don't know a single person who does that. Hold out your hand. Put your fingers up. A good hunter don't hunt for the kill. A good hunter hunts for the hunt. Now, that's a perfect hit right there. That's a perfect shot. That's a clean kill right to the heart. Y'all see that? Now, what she's doing now is just her nerves dying. Suffering's minimal when you know what you're doing. What the hell are you doing out here? Now, listen to me. You didn't see any of this, you hear? Now you just back out of here, boy. No, I'll stay away from it. It ain't dead yet, stupid. Well, what the hell's with you, man? All right, let's get this moron out of here before he gets himself kicked. Hey, come on! Let the guy go! Oh my god! Put it out, man! Stop! Okay? Let's wait two slumps for this, eh? Come on, let him go! Go! Hurry up! Stop! Come on! No matter what you do, make him stop! Somebody make him stop! Come on! Come on, man! What's that, buddy? He's giving him a heart attack or something! What's happening? Come on! Come on! Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Now, let him go. Do it. Goddamn gun down, Tom. Do it.
Break it up, guys. Come on. Hey. I left camp for less than an hour. When I get back, one of my deputies is being hauled down the mountain in an ambulance. The boys tell me that you gave him some sort of an attack. It was like a seizure, is that right? No. Then what did happen? Why won't you tell anyone? I let him see. I opened him up and I let him see. He just couldn't see what he was doing, so I helped him. Sheriff, you better start leveling with me. Go ahead. I'm on my way. A little late? Let me tell you something, Doug. You ever tell anybody I said this, I'm moving out of town. That kid? He lays his hand on the deer while it's still shaking. And then he touches me at the same time. Now, I can't figure out why until my heart starts pounding and I'm shaking and I'm feeling myself hurt and scared shitless slipping away in the goddamn dark. That's the worst thing I ever felt. It's like I could feel that animal dying. Yeah, it's like I was a goddamn thing. Oh, come on, Harley. Doug, I swear. Now, I, I just can't do it anymore. I can't look at something down the barrel of a gun without thinking about it. I've tried it. I'm telling you, that thing ain't normal. I'm telling you, he took whatever's in that goddamn deer. Wouldn't it be great if we could help people see and feel the pain that they inflict onto others. What kind of world would this be if everyone could feel the pain that they inflict onto others? Do y'all, do you think that would change our behavior? You think that might solve a lot of problems? Is this something that's on our to get list or to do list? What does he mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is that if we corrected the fall of mankind, if we didn't feel that disconnect that's not located here but in every cell in our body, if we weren't missing that, that, that coherent sunlight energy that helps us feel one with everyone, then this world would be different and we would already feel that way, don't you see? This is possible. We can help people feel the pain that is around everywhere simply by bumping up our biophoton levels. That's the thing that's missing. That's why we're able to do all the crazy things we do. We believe in absurdity, so we commit atrocities. And it was the cooking of the food that would allow us to do something as horrible as kill an animal. Because we have the disconnect, don't you see? Yes. Killing the animal darkened our behavior even more when we ate it, killing it and eating it. But that's not the beginning. The first cause was cooking of the food, killing of the food. When we did that, that's the disconnect that most people don't feel. They don't realize the cruel and sinful thing they do when they eat an animal for when you eat it you're just as guilty as killing it and in America the average 70 year old person in this country is responsible for eating and therefore killing 11 cows one calf three sheep and lamb 23 hogs 45 turkeys 1097 chickens and 861 pounds of fish and if it was one fish per pound, that would be 2,041 lives the average 70-year-old here in America has taken for only one reason, gluttony. We don't need those animals for survival and, and except for in unique situations. 
we are opportunistic eaters. If we have to, we will. And at one time, maybe that's what we had to do. I don't think so. I think we made the mistake by cooking the food, and that's what allowed us to continue on and eat animals we weren't biologically adapted to eat and eat plants we weren't biologically adapted to eat and then create these machines that allowed us to process foods that were not biologically adapted to eat and then to use chemicals that were never meant to be anywhere on this planet. Man is sick. There's something wrong with us. We've got the wrong mentality. And we don't sense that we're all one with everything. That's the problem. And the beauty about correcting the fall of mankind is we gain back that lost sense, our sixth sense, our spidey sense. It's the coherent sunlight energy that's stored in the nucleus of all of our cells and cells used to communicate in a sense. It's all one with everything. We don't have that cellular communication. We have chaos instead. We have a disconnect. We don't feel the pain we inflict onto others. There is a way for us to help everyone on this planet understand what this journey is all about and that is to correct the fall of mankind we got to do that we got to go upstream get reconnected stop destroying those biophotons that are used to then connect to everything it's faster than the speed of light so there's really a simple solution if you love animals if you don't want to eat them and have other people eat them, convince them not to cook their food because when you sell that story, you get a whole lot better results. I mean, huge, huge. The raw vegan diet compared to a starch solution is a joke. You can't heal at the same level with a starch solution. Sure, you're going to prevent some degenerative diseases from happening and you will also uh, uh, reduce your chances. God, hang on. Well, she was really tangled up that time. <laughs> Man, she was about, about to bite, bite through there. But you also reduce your chances of those diseases, but that's it. It's only, it doesn't do anything to all those other problems we have, and, and it's just a drop in the bucket compared to all the rest of the problems. The starch solution is a good transition to get you to at least stop eating the animals, but you got to stop cooking the food. The raw tail four is a good transition to get you going, but it's not a standard to aim at. If you want the best, you got to stop cooking your food. There's five main mistakes we're making, and the less of those, the better. And good luck, my friends. Good luck, I'm telling you, especially with the cooking. As Plato said, whatever deceives man seems to produce a magical enchantment. That's what the cooking does. It creates this false hunger that we feel down here. It's a morbid sensation. It's a withdrawal symptom, just like the chemicals they use to put in tobacco. They put like 3,000 chemicals into a cigarette, so as soon as you quit smoking one, within a minute or two, you have a withdrawal symptom, a craving to light up another. Same thing with cooked food. It's not quite that instantaneous, but we get this all gone feeling down here. It's a false hunger. You're under a hunger spell. That's what the cooking does to us. We have to accept this flaw in our behavior and do our best to correct it and I think the best solution is to have a minimal biophoton level and I'm not sure what that has to be and of course it's going to have to be optimal for our so-called leaders and criminals who don't know how to behave so we got to help you know protect society the best we can by making sure they're as connected as possible no guarantee that's enough might have to keep locking them up like we do now <clears throat> But that's all down the road. We don't know for sure how that's going to go. This is an exciting time to live right now, my friends. Never before is there a time for us to help people feel pain that they inflict. And there's only one way to do it. Get them to eat raw food. More raw food. And because that's so hard, I added a preliminary step to eating raw food, and that's the juice fast, the solid food vacation, where what we get to do is see results about 10 times faster and we're not hungry energy level skyrockets for most of us every now and then it dips down cleansing reactions vary depending upon where you are I came into this as an athlete and I didn't have any cleansing reactions to speak of except one day for a few seconds 
I had it twice, five minutes apart, and that's when I released about 80 diverticuli, diverticula that were those herniated blowouts on the coal, side of my colon wall. It was mind boggling. That's the only time I felt any type of cleansing reaction. Felt a little nauseous as they came out, all of a sudden, boom, came out, boom, a bunch of them. Otherwise, if you're pretty healthy going into this and you have accumulated a bunch of stuff, you really shouldn't be having cleansing reactions if you're supporting those organs of elimination properly. So go down below into the description box and you go to a seminar I gave on how to do this and support those organs of elimination. Very important. You want to take it one day at a time and do the best you can. No one's judging here anybody. Uh, you just try to do the best you can. I always try to help people benefit from my experience. It took me two years fasting on six different occasions before I woke up and said, gosh darn it John, two of those were for 30 days and I was still pooping at the very end of that. What made you think of stopping? <laughs> well, I went into it saying, I'm going to go, you know, 30 days. <laughs> so I knew when to start breaking the fast, and that's how I planned it out. So I went into it with a pre-programmed number. Seventh time I didn't go in with a pre-programmed number. I said, let's go till you at least stop pooping. My God, why would you stop while you're still pooping? Didn't make any sense, especially since I was documenting all of it. And it was the most exciting three months of my life because I had a 20-pound cesspool come out of me. So this is extremely exciting. You don't believe me. Listen to the Dr. Roba interview. Go down to the description box and listen to his experience when he was on day 21 being interviewed by these two women. You could tell how excited he was and how much weight he lost and how his health improved and how he realized, my God, this is the answer. And then you can watch the Deborah Duncan show and watch six people that have done this. And then look at the, the comments in the description box, not only in this video, but all the other videos. People are sharing their experiences and telling them what's happening on certain days. So you'll see certain people's names and you'll know they're on a certain day. We'll go back and look at certain days and see if you can find some of their older posts or comments. I'm telling you, this is exciting stuff. This is not something that people make up. When people say, oh, there's no old stuff inside of you, that just shows you how dense you are and how you've been bombarded with certain information that you won't allow the truth to come into you when it comes because this is easily verifiable. Read the comments down below. I'm not making anything up. I document everything that happened to me for the 1,200 days plus that I've done this in 24 years. I'm a scientist. This is what I do. Document everything. And it's mind-boggling when you keep track of the stuff that comes out of us. That's the thing we have to understand. We literally have a serpent that's inside of us. And this pollutes our blood and our thoughts. It affects us in ways we really can't appreciate until it does come out of us. And this is part of why we don't feel one with everything. Because everything is supposed to vibrate at a certain frequency. And as long as we're toxic, toxic inside, our cells and tissues aren't going to be vibrating at the right frequency either. There are these cosmic energy vibrations and every organ and tissue is supposed to vibrate at a certain frequency. So this gets out of whack also because we're eating the wrong food. So that in conjunction with, so when you clean that out and you bump up your biophotons, you flush out that cesspool in your colon, your lymph system cleans itself out and, and now the cells and all the tissues are emptying out their waste matter and there's no more high blood sugar because now the cells are clean and can receive the sugar provided your hormonal systems are working and you're producing all the enzymes you need. So this is how it can get complicated. If there's any damage, if certain organs aren't working, then we need to make sure we give the body what it would be given it if those organs were working. So there's a time and a place to not only correct those five main mistakes and satisfy all those other essential needs, but we also have to realize that we might, ha we might be damaged. Society's damaged. We've got to do a lot of work down there. We talked about uh, doing away with the money supply system, uh, get taking back uh, our money supply so that it's no more based on usury. Then we talked about how the environment in our body, our anatomy has been damaged. And now we've got this other group of needs. So if we're damaged, you've got to play a really active role in figuring out what to do. It's not so much what you got as what you've been doing. Then compare that to what you, what you got. Because when you look more at what you do, you go, okay, I haven't been doing anything right in this area, so it only makes sense. I'd have some sort of warning sign, and that's what the disease process is. It's nothing but part of our feedback system. So whenever we don't like what we got, we've got to take a close look at what we do and take a close look at what we believe, and there's a good chance what you're going to find, if you can look at this honestly, is that you believe what everyone else believes, and that's why we're stale in hell because we don't realize we're, we're making 
the biggest mistake of all. That's the fall of mankind. That's the one mistake very few people, very few people can acknowledge and accept. It's devastating and frightening to think, oh my God, that means no more this and no more this and no more this and no more this. Oh God Almighty, I don't want to entertain that idea. But life is an illusion. Most people have no idea how this world could be if we stopped making the fall of mankind in the present day. We're, we're, we're keeping it alive. We're keeping this mistake alive and we're passing it down from one generation to the next. So it's time to put an end to this madness. It's time to get excited. If you haven't done this yet, go down and watch my, uh, my video on how to do this. And I guarantee you, my friends, when you do, you're in for a treat.